Calvin, obviously you're helping there, like holding midfield role. How's that role changed from, say, previous seasons where you've probably more advanced trying to get on the goals, goal scoring sheet? Yeah, it's been, you know, it's been difficult at the start when I first tried it. Um, the manager said that, you know, he wanted me to play there and he was a bit surprised, but, you know, I think I've stuck to it again quite well. And, um, yeah, I find it, find it easier to get on the ball. You know, I get a lot of the ball, which I like. You know, I can find passes, so it's good. And then it's more like when Coops and Ponters are 1v1, then I'm basically the sweeper, so if the ball goes over their heads or if there's a free man in here, I go and press and then Coops and Ponters cover round. When their keeper's got the ball, are you the one to try and get on it, start the attack from there? Yeah, so when our keeper's got the ball, I'll kind of, if there's two up top, I'll kind of just come a little bit deeper so the keeper can find me and obviously miss these two, these two uh, strikers out on the opposite team. And then obviously I try and find, you know, whoever I can, basically the wing backs, the midfielders, or maybe the strikers. Do you prefer to try and change your game depending on the opposition, like say if we play one striker up, two up? Yeah, normally um, when we play two up top, it's when I play in the middle of a back three, or if they play maybe number nine and then a number 10 that goes bombing off all the time, I'll play in a back three. But when we play one up top, if they play one up top, or maybe three, then I'll play, you know, more midfield. But yeah, it's just when, you know, it just depends on the formation of the opposition. And, you know, I think, you know, with the formation, with the teams that we're playing and people changing and chopping formations, then, you know, it's kind of good to get to know. All right, I'll roll you a ball and I just want to talk about your options here. So yep. if the ball's safe from the midfield, come back to you there. Yeah. So I could either, if there's two players here, I could either take a touch forward. Yeah. Cut them two out and then try and play the other midfielders or the wing backs. Or if, say, the thing you drop deep, the two um, attackers drop deep, then I can either uh, drive a little bit, find coots, find ponders so they can get out. Or I could even try and find, you know, one of the midfielders that are making movements as well. How hard have you had to work at this part of your game? Does it start to come more natural now? Yeah, obviously at the start I was, you know, I was last season I played more attacking, and um, at the start when, you, when the manager first came in and said oh, I want you to play number four, I was a bit like, oh, how come? But you know, I think I've took to it quite well. You know, I just need to work on my defensive attributes a little bit more, and hopefully, you know, I'll keep getting better. I touch part that like wing backs, full backs going forward. Are you starting to think now if we lose the ball, do I have to fill in there? Yeah, that's what it is. As soon as, as soon as I, I give the ball, I've always get, got to get in the position where I'm either covering another centre half or covering the wing backs that's bombed on. And we always play with maybe if we play, I'm basically the third centre half. So when the ball goes forward, uh, there's Liam, uh, Pontus, and then I'm either in front or with a man. So two up on one man and then. You know, if obviously if they, you know, win the ball back and try and break, I can hopefully stop that. Is that important to have different options on the ball? Yeah, obviously, you know, because I'm I'm new to this position, so I want to, you know, do well and I want to, you know, play well. But you know, the the lads help me a lot. You know, with the movement, I think we're one of the hardest working teams in in the championship, and you know, the way we work on and off the ball, I think it's incredible. And you know, you can tell from when we get the ball when we are attacking and stuff like that. You can just see the movement around us. And if there's no movement, then I'll obviously go back to the keeper to Pontus or to Coops and we'll just play again, build again.